A veiled Muslim woman, this victim, who is so helpless, uneducated, and oppressed. There's really nothing sexier that you could put on TV. I really don't think they want to let that tagline go. They don't want to hear about... I mean, I'm not the only modern Muslim woman. I think a lot of people are getting distracted with the Stormy Daniels story because of the porn star, the glam. But the core of this story, what it, what it shows us, is that Donald Trump is blackmailable. And I want to reiterate my call to GOP and Republican women that it is time to get out. I feel like GOP women are trapped with their abuser, which is Trump. You guys have stuck by him through pedophilia, through sexual assault. Domestic violence is a human rights issue. This precedent does not stand behind your gender. I wish I could describe to you the fear and the anxiety of being an American Muslim right now. This ban is completely illegal. It's unconstitutional. But it also appears as though the NRA's solution to everything is, is more guns. Their solutions to school shootings is to, you know, arm the teachers. Their solutions to domestic violence is to arm the victim so this it just leads to more violence and more gun sales i don't know why i have to pay for men's viagra or penis pumps and you know i really want to quote <laughs> civil rights icon um fanny lou hamer here who said who very famously said nobody's free until everybody's free and let's be very clear in 2017 america women are not free this week really fox network tried to kind of act like they are the network that cares more about sexual harassment even dragging hillary clinton's name back Back in the mix but the fact that the week ended with this bombshell about O'Reilly 32 million dollars was paid I mean what did O'Reilly do to warrant such a such a settlement what is really important for viewers to understand is that Dhaka is not Kabul this is not Iraq this is not Baghdad this is not in in the green zone and Bangladesh is considered a huge development aid success story so we have a huge aid population there this bakery is not even 10 minutes away from the US Embassy Donald Trump has always kind of taken a softer stance when it's come to Saudi Arabia you know they were left off of his famous Muslim ban list and also his uh, executive order barring Muslim immigrants from the US why are we trying to play this off Andre as if anything positive that together. came out of this so, so can we just say that at the end of the day the president had a perfect opportunity to speak out against white supremacists and white supremacy and he didn't it's not enough it's not enough i mean if anybody is gonna hold Donald Trump and this administration accountable, it's going to be women. Do not underestimate the power of women.